what's up guys my name is Amel and well welcome back uh, you made it you made it to the third tutorial and well uh, now it's time to start coding our first program and before that well I want to remind you that you have to go to smartvania.com um, because we have a lot of interesting information there and without any further ado let's begin our first program in order to make a program we're gonna go to file and then new and now we have a new file but before that I always like to save it so click on this button right here um, to save and then I'm gonna save it to my desktop so give it a name I'm gonna name it hello assembly dot ASM always it needs to have ASM because ASM is for assembly so that's the file extension so save it to your desktop and now we can start coding now we can start programming so first of all uh, every MIPS program has two sections the data section and the text section so always type that data and then that text that data as the name implies has all the data of your program like if you were writing in C++ or Java it would be like all the variables and the text section it has all the all the instructions that you need that your program needs so that's what you need to do define these two sections so what I want to do in this program is that I want to um, write a program that's gonna say hello world to the screen so in order to do that I'm gonna have to um, I'm gonna declare a message hello uh, hello world and I'm gonna uh, call it my message this is the name of this is the name of my message and I'm gonna place it in random access memory but before that I have to tell it what data type my message is so like data type here you have word ASCII uh, so I want ASCII Z and this is just text and text has to go in quotation marks between quotation marks so I'm gonna say hello world and for a new line I do backslash n so this means like um, print hello world I mean not print it but this is just hello world and a new line so now I go to my dot text and this is where I put my instructions so I say load immediate dollar sign v0 comma 4 don't worry if you don't understand what I'm doing I'm gonna tell you what this means and then uh, this is just like um, this is just like uh, a signal you're telling the system okay get ready because now you have to print something so prepare for that so you are telling the system what what the system has to do and then what do you want to print well I wanna I wanna say the value of my message I wanna print out the value of my message what's the value hello world so I have to put this value in a register because that's the only way I can uh, print it out and by convention we use the the air register but in this case we have to use the air register anyways so load the address so load the address in dollar sign a zero of my message so it means um, I, system please print out a message print out text and then the system you need to tell what text so load the address of this variable this is in random access memory load it into the register or into the processor into this register right here and it's all the time you have to put it in a zero because that's the way it works and now that you have all this all the information you you say okay do it do it now so this is gonna do it and then we go to run assemble it was successful right here you see that the, that the program completed successfully and now we can run it I mean just go to this button right here click it voila voila here it is hello world congratulations now you are programmers I mean assembly programmers you made your first programming assembly hello world well let me go over the program again we have two sections that data and that text that data contains all the data in this case all the values that I'm storing in random access memory 
and that text contains all the instructions. So these three instructions, what they do is that they print out a value to the screen, but not any value, only ASCII values, only text. So all the time when you want to print out text, you have to say, put the value 4 in register V0. And it say, when you put the value 4 in this register, uh, it, it means that you that the system will know the system will know that you want to print out a value to the screen and then uh, What value? Okay, put my message From random access memory from random access memory put it in this register is zero So now the system knows now the system know that you want to print out something and it knows that what you want to print out is that message and now you just say okay execute it or do it and that's this call so you can see right here, hello world, um, congratulations, you made it, uh, don't forget to subscribe, thank you, next time I know I will show you something very interesting again, and thank you very much, take care.